Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. Hey y'all, today we are going to be working on this 30 ounce modern curve cup and I've already got the base colors down. I started out with a white and use different colors like a little spritz of black, different colors of blue and different colors of green. And I'm going to be using a technique I haven't tried yet. This is the alcohol wrap. And um, I've got several different colors of alcohol here that I'm going to be using. Uh, different shades of blue and green. And um, I'll be listing them below in the um description of this video. Um, this right here is going to be the cool effect. This is a rainbow um, alcohol ink and it just gives a shimmer to all of your colors. It's just absolutely wonderful. So I'm starting off because I want to have a um, kind of a pattern when I uh, wrap this plastic around the cup. So I'm just scrunching up the plastic all around and then i um, going to pat it down into place so that it tries to hold that uh, look that I'm trying to achieve with um, the alcohol inks. I'm not really sure how much alcohol ink to add to this so you're going to see me do um, several times. I actually ended up wrapping this cup three different times and um, it was great because I got uh, layers of different looks and it really turned out really cool. But I'm just starting off by adding little drops of um, alcohol ink all over the plastic in just a random order. It's not uh, any special design or anything. And uh, while I do this, I want to tell you a little bit about the story behind this cup. Um, I had delivered uh, some cups to a customer and before I could get back home I got a message from her and she asked me um, that if I did memorial cups for people and that she had a co-worker that was interested. And then before I could really even answer her back, I got a message from the coworker, and uh, she just told me that she would uh, be interested in a memorial cup for her son who had um, passed last year. And I told her absolutely, I would be honored. Um, we'll discuss, you know, what you're looking for, what exactly what you want. And the only thing for sure that she knew was that she wanted to have her son's picture on the cup. And so she was leaving pretty much the design element up to me. Um, and she would provide the picture that she wanted to put on the cup. And so I thought about it for a couple of days of what I could do that would really represent uh, something that would memorialize uh, someone and I decided to go with a earth and sky type look that's what I'm trying to achieve uh, in that um, no matter where you look her son may not be here but she still has all those memories here on earth regardless of where she she is or what she's doing she still has those memories of her son being here with her and so that's what I'm trying to achieve is just to get that earth and sky type look here and I've um, added alcohol inks and I'm gonna try to wrap the cup and get it started and um, I do have more to the story but we'll just pause right here for a moment and um, I'm wrapping the plastic 
onto the tumbler. And as I go, I'm trying to straighten it and bunch it, make sure that I have enough room that the uh, plastic will reach and wrap all the way around and that I can get the alcohol everywhere on the cup. And I'm just rubbing it in, moving it around, and I'm realizing that I don't really have enough alcohol ink on the plastic itself yet. And so I'm going to um, unwrap it. And I think really more than anything, um, the alcohol ink dries so fast uh, that it was drying on the plastic quicker than I could get it on the cup. So I just took a little bit of 91% alcohol and sprinkled it around. And then I did add some additional alcohol ink, the same colors, and um, just tried to get more of it uh, to blend into each other so that um, it would get onto the cup. And I ended up wrapping the cup three times, which is so cool because it gave me three layers and uh, the design elements, the lines, when you see it, when it's dried and I'm actually ready to put resin on it, it's really cool. But, um, so I'm gonna wrap it back up here and um, what you do is once you get what you want onto the plastic and onto the cup, you let it dry and uh, then pull the plastic away from the cup. And so I did let this dry, then come back and uh, unwrapped it and did another layer, let that dry, unwrapped it and did another layer. So I have three separate um, wraps done on this cup. And I did that so I could achieve that look of the earth and the sky blending together. And uh, so I want to continue the story. Um, recently, my son started a kind of like a second job. And he has met some um, guy that they've become really good buddies and they've worked together a lot. And um, they've uh, gotten so close that they hang out quite a bit. They grill and and uh, he hangs out with his girlfriend and, and his friend's uh, wife and family. And they do a lot of stuff together. And I started connecting some dots when um, this customer gave me some more details about her son. Um, this fellow that my, my son has been working with lost his brother last year and he, um, has become like a brother to my son and my son has become like a brother to him. And once I started connecting some of the dots, this customer who I have never met before, um, was actually the stepmother to my son's new friend and the way that this just happened it was just to me it was just it was just a god thing <laughs> um, I've talked to her a couple times through text and and um, told her that my son knew her stepson and and it's just amazing that it has turned out even though it was an honor before that she would trust me with something so precious to make for her, it has become even more precious to me to have the honor to get to do that for her. And um, this is the dried version of all the alcohol inks here. And I'm adding my resin, which is Frorizal, which is one to one ratio. And I did 10 mils um, this first layer and then I came back six hours later and I did a second uh, 10 mils to get a base for me to put um, the picture and the information uh, on the cup. I'm not going to show that portion of this um, making this cup out of respect for the family and but this is simply to show you the technique that you can use for uh, 
the alcohol inks and plastic wrap. Oh, this is great. This cup looks wonderful. And uh, she was very, very pleased with it. So I'm adding a little bit of heat here and um, just making sure that I have no bubbles. And anything that is not getting a complete coverage right now, I will get a complete coverage in the next round. So here it is with the resin cured on it. And um, it turned out just wonderful. The blending of it, earth and sky look to it. Um, I'm very pleased with it. And the lady likes it as well. So I'm going to take you in now for a close-up so you can see how that rainbow alcohol ink leaves that shimmer. And um, also so that you can see how the plastic wrap put the designs in there. And since I wrapped it three times, I have like layers on top of each other. And it's just, it's really cool. It turned out wonderful absolutely love this technique and the fact that this is the first time I've ever done this and it's on a special cup makes it even more special for me so um, I want to thank you all for joining me and allowing me to share you with you the, the specialness of um, being able to create this cup and if you have enjoyed it please click like and share and um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet you can do that now ring that bell and um, you'll get notified when I upload future videos and everything I used again will be listed below in the uh, description of the video I usually give all that information as I'm going along but felt like the story was more important this time than the list of supplies I used. So thank you for joining me. I hope to see you in my next creative escapade. Bye bye for now.